Whoa, 40 dragon halberds sold for 6.6, .6. god damn. All right, guys, immediately jumping into some Zemi, my current Slayer task with the Bofa. Absolutely slapping. I mean, Zemi wasn't the hardest one to begin with because you could just like arc light it and I got the cleavers now and shit, so it wasn't too bad to begin with. But ah, Bofa is just so consistent, you know? Ah, I kind of goofed there, but that's fine. Still a rough, man. Zemi trips are definitely the most difficult out of them all in terms of upkeeping my HP and shit. Could bring Barrage instead of five different fucking runes, but you know, I don't wanna. Well, got a Godsart Shard 1 at the end there. <clears throat> nice little relic, but nothing crazy. We'll take it though. A little collection log slot. Oh, came back and got a Zemi Hilt right away. Let's fucking go. Our first ever Hilt. Not the most useful one, but I've seen some strats where people use the Zemi Hilt for certain bosses to freeze them and shit, so. CGS good for raids, by the way. You see what I mean? As I say that. Sick. Cool. That is really dope. We got the rarest drops right away and the most useful ones at that. Slayer task completed, but I didn't want to leave after one singular kill because I had to bang for that one kill. I didn't know I was that close to finishing it. But uh, that's okay. I'm just gonna try and make the trip last a little bit longer so I don't waste all of my fucking uh, KC for one. You know, try and get this back up a little bit. Oh, it's just an instance is where you don't see the essence screen. I see, I see. That makes sense. All right, Bandle's task next. Good luck. Instantly get my new PB with a Bofa. 23 seconds just face tanking it. Didn't even use my spec. This should be nice. Let's hope for some actual loot though, because we're 43 KC, nothing so far. Which ain't too crazy, but would love to see it drop. And we get uh, 34 kills. Yeah, and only General Gredor counts, because I had a greater demon for Zemi, so every time I killed minions, they also counted. Which sped up the task quite a bit. We'll have to go back there at some point. A Zemi Hesta would, uh, would be really, really nice to start doing TOA with. Of course, 76 KC for a first drop, and it's a pair of boots. I think that's a clue item at the very least. Might be worth some sac points in the future, but for now, not really the first item I wanted to see. Oh cool, you can just add the Gutsart shards together and then use it on the hilt. Uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Halbert wasn't all that great at Gridor. Just thinking in the future, maybe just bring a ZGS and like freeze any motherfuckers we want to. For convenience sake, could be cool. All right, we're gonna try a little Dominion run at the recommendation of a friend of mine. Um, there's definitely a good list like Zilliana and uh, General Gredor that he recommended. I kind of want to do Kriara as well. Just because I think anything you kill in here you have a chance of getting loot from. So uh, uh, maybe even an Anti-Venom for Zora would be nice. I don't think this would be too difficult. But we'll give it a try. Never done this before. I don't know if there's any cost to dying or whatever. But fuck it. Just fuck it. We'll see what happens. May as well record the full attempt. Starting off at Hydra. Pretty basic boss. Are you fucking kidding? Oh, you can't do this off task even when it's in the Dominion shit? That's weird as fuck. Wouldn't... Shouldn't you make an exception for that if, uh, you know, you're doing the Dominion thing? That's weird. Yeah, that seems a little weird to me. Maybe I'm the weird one, I don't fucking know, but that just seems... Weird. Uh, like, I feel like I could have just done a quick kill for the Dominion part of it, but no, you have to be on task for that. Odd, odd, odd. So we're just gonna skip that and move on to the other NPCs. A Commander Zuliana, one singular kill with a Bova. That shouldn't be too bad, and we need to use our trolls and everything that spawns in here. Like, I already made Starlight a right click, so that helps. Could even be flicking. No, the minions are on the same tick, so can't really flick that. Okay, well, this is a pretty boring kill. I'll check you in a second. Okay, there goes the Zuliana. You don't really see what you get, you just move on to the next room right away. Okay, okay, okay. Good to know. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, this is my first time ever. I have no clue whatsoever. As you saw with the Hydra part. Surely we can just get one kill of everything. Surely. And I, what I believe, what happens is you can like do a second round, and then you gamble all your items if you die along the way, I assume. You have to make it all the way through. I, I think you could pray Kriara's mage attacks and little blue tornadoes if you're quick with it. 
never thought about that before and it is on three ticks so it's a bit quick but yeah again one singular kill shouldn't be too bad do they like ramp up in strength with every kill you do or anything like that i don't know giant maul that's my first time killing him so we got a little bit of combat achievements from it that's nice little kbd next same thing that's another perk of doing it like this get all these free ass achievements out of the way without actually having to go to kbd or emo Wow, I guess I'm getting fucked on Tormi. The, the, the range and shit just doesn't hit. Do you have to mage him? What do people normally kill this? But not, literally nothing hits. I both I did like 20 times and it was just all zeros. Literally every single hit is a zero. I'm not sure how people normally do that. But I guess we might be able to brute force it once like this. That should be a, a legitimate way, right? We just need to kill it once, then we can claim the loot and try again on a better run. Why? Oh, pfft, okay. Right. Redemption procs a little wrong in this server, but okay. And yes, I saw that it stacked me with the Venom, but that's still... It should have procced as soon as that thing hit way earlier. Really weird how that works, but okay. And now you lose your shit, still, like it would be a normal death, I guess. Holy mother of god, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's uh, turn that bitch off too. Let's just do the more efficient ones. The things I care about in terms of loot. Alright, we got that. We got a combat achievement from our uh, little Azora kill. I'm just gonna claim the loot because I'm kind of curious how this works, right? This should also give the uh, emol log because you just need the hide and the skin for that. So, kind of guaranteed. You have received your loot with a 2% drop rate boost. Do you only get one drop roll from everything? Like if you're using the God Wars Relic for example, could you still potentially roll multiple? Or does that not work within the Dominion part of things? That's what I'm wondering. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I hope you can hear me, the audio might be a little bit fucked. Oh, I'm gonna talk a bit softer. Uh, I'm on my laptop any moment, bit of a rush, but two times Discovery XP just started. But my dog started acting up, he really wanted to go downstairs, yada yada yada. So I figured uh, I would just grab the laptop and get started, but I don't want to miss the entirety of uh, this experience gaining. 47k per book, not bad. And we got a thousand elder after the 400 magic or so. So yeah, figured I would go ahead and get started on this. This should be really fucking good. And hopefully, in, well, no, it's definitely got to be, be enough to get over 115. All right, just used up like a solid close to a thousand books now and uh, then I realized oh I'm not using my fucking discovery cape that saves books oopsie daisies all right guys discovery buff oh man I mean really I can tell that it's picking up noise very loudly um I won't speak too loud but we just hit 118 uh our boost just ended so yeah not bad at all still got a bunch of books remaining as well so uh if it shows up again maybe we can hit 120 Maybe not with these books, but if we make a few more, just to get that done and completed with. Nice though. Holy fuck, I just found an armadillo chain skirt for doing one Dominion run. He randomly decided to claim it and it gave an armored chain skirt. What the hell? That's so awesome. Okay, I'm definitely doing more of this. That's cool. Does it not announce? Oh, it does, because someone saw it. Kim Brayman found an armadillo chain skirt. Can we get lucky twice? I gambled once on this chest. Claim reward. Oh, no, nothing this time around. That's fair enough. All right, guys, back on the computer now so we can properly commentate. Done another run. Really fun and addicting to do these, but uh, sometimes a little rough. No loot on this one, unfortunately. Just GP on every one of them. I'm also very, very, very unsure whether or not the Blessings of the Righteous works on Dominion or not. Because it never will tell you if you got an extra roll on it, so I'm... Not sure if it can even proc here or not. All right, guys, another run with one gamble in between. Good luck. No, oh, nothing. All right, we're gonna try our first ever Leviathan. I watched a quick guide on it. I get the general idea of it, but I still need it off the list. So why not give it a go? Oh Lord, oh Lord, let's see how this goes. I have no idea what I'm doing, really. I'll try my best. Plus, we recoil any correct prayer, so that's kind of nice. Alright, so now it's gonna do some rock falls. Now it's gonna go a bit quicker. If 
I feel like it gets too quick, I can do Shadow Barrage to make it slower again and activate a special attack. Let's see on this one. Now it starts adding melee. So far, so good. Let me focus on whatever is next to come. Just to play it safe. I don't have any like good special attack weapon to hit it with. But that works for me. So what's the special attack? Oh. Oh fuck. Shouldn't have walked out from the rocks, huh? That's a doable amount of damage though. We tank through it and we continue. Oh, a little too early. Oh yeah, don't stand in its melee range. The next phase is still gonna be doable. Oh, what? Right, melee range. Huh, okay. Oh, it already started the... Oh, I see how it is. Okay, 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 okay. Next try. To be fair, we barely used any supplies. I just straight up started fucking up. Um, I need to be prepared for that rock fall and drop it in an appropriate place so I can still move around with the uh, orb at the end. Okay, died again to melee hit. Can't get used to that. It's really hard to fucking dodge those rocks while prey flicking while trying to stay in that orb. Worst problem is I'm always really far away from that orb when it spawns. Because I don't know exactly when it spawns. I'm not prepared enough for it. And then in my attempt to try and get back to the orb, I just end up dying. So that's my mistake. Let's go bank again and try another time. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep going till we get it. Oh, we got it. Okay. Ooh, easier said than done, but uh, we got it after a while. I just gotta anticipate that orb thing and be closer to it. That's my biggest issue at the moment. But got the research notes as well as a little combat achievement. All right, did a little jet fire cape. Uh, couldn't get the combat task to block the healers. They were quick as fuck, like I was on top of that ready with my blowpipe and still couldn't do shit. Oh yeah, you can trade uh, your fire capes in for 8k tuckle. That might be nice in the future for uh, trying to get more onyxes, but for now, gonna bargain for a pet. Awesome. Not lucky. Rip. Hey guys, I'm gonna go ahead and try some Inferno. I have no faith in this, I've never touched it before in my life, but it's only the last two or three waves. Um, just gonna send it and brute force my way through it and learn the hardest of hard ways and if I get stuck on something I'll start watching guides on that specifically but I think it will be fun to just throw myself at it. The reason I've never learned Zuck before is well first of all the most servers I've played don't really have the real Inferno and I've never been motivated to learn it when it has as many waves as it does in old school. I've never wanted to invest that much time in a row in old school runescape personally. Um, not on one thing like this and it's so punishing to go through like 60 plus waves and then fucking wipe at the end so we're just gonna try it in here where it's not like that oh man i shouldn't have sacrificed that fire gift because i think i need to give this motherfucker one first all right guys i'm trying to do the task where uh we kill all jets within 30 seconds of the first one dying i don't know if you actually oh whoops gotta pay enough attention where i don't miss prayers um I don't know if you actually have to finish the run after that or if you just get the task right away, but uh, you can just get the task right away. That would be fan-fucking-tastic. Okay, there's the last batch of healers. I'll get too many of them on us at once. Start focusing on the actual Inferno run after this crap. Trying to kill this one first. Oh, got it. That gets rid of the healers with those two left within 30 seconds of the first one dying. That should be good, right? Is that a combat task right away? Ah, fuck you, you actually, actually no, there, there it is, yeah, yay, died. playing with jets, thank god, whoo, hey. Oh no, the Zaltzuk present is breaking down. Oh no, oh fuck, I gotta run, ah! Damn, what? I went from cutscene to a ball flying to my face instantly. What is the safe tile on this side? Is it the fourth tile right here? That one, yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing. But we'll try our best at it. You don't even actually have the prayer in this first bit, right? Oh. Is this... Oh. oh okay. Oh, oh you're fucked. Ah, oh. Thank the bitch. You can't hit from this side? I had no idea. You need long range. Okay. I thought the both I had long enough range for that. 
Oh, how fucking far down am I? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, somehow that didn't... Uh, somehow, yeah. You're gonna have to tag both of them so yeah. they're not getting Yeah, through. I see. I see how it is. I'll heavily consider this uh, our first practice run. Leave. Leave that one alive. For a while. Okay. Is there a reason for that? Uh, you don't have to worry about prayer, and I think I... Do they respawn I if you don't? Know, but I, no, yeah. even on long range, you can't reach that. I could have sworn I've seen people do that in videos before oh. where they hit from this end. Am I tripping? Okay, well, good experience, I guess. Let's see our second attempt with Tal Marcus. That must be so much better now. Okay, okay. Can't really skip this, huh? Okay, so... Wait until... Yeah, okay, now it works. Okay, I gotta wait until the... Shield at least passes by me, I think. I think that's the secret sauce here. No, it's basically the shield works two ways. You can't fully shoot through it. So like, I really gotta wait until the shield has passed me before I can do that. And then if the next wave of NPCs spawn, will it be another major and ranger? Yeah. But will it spawn on top of the existing major? So I get two majors at yeah. the same time? Yeah, some cool. people ignore. Some people completely ignore the major because they rather just do damage to the, to the Zuck. But then at some point you're gonna also have to deal with Jet at the same time. Uh, yeah. So far so good. Almost half HP already. It's below 600. That passes the timers, right? So I can kill the major and I'll be all good. I think the shield is still pretty healthy. Wonder if I could learn this entirely in one day. When do the spawners come out? Are the healers come out again? Oh wait, fuck Jet first. Uh, uh, uh. I can't reach mode. Oh, fuck, I'm not paying attention to what he's oh. doing. Yeah, that's... Oh. See, that's a, that's a bigger mistake than missing a prey. Yeah, I'm fucked. Okay, good run. Decent. Okay, gotta keep all of that in mind. That's fine, that's fine. We did better than the first time, and that's uh, what's most important. Just improving every run. Alright, next attempt. Let's do this. Come on. Slap the absolute fucking shit out of that bitch. Why do you have to get this annoying cutscene every time and then the shield is already moving when it's over? It's crazy. Oh wait, huh? I got a, uh, I got a uh, relic from uh, killing the jets. That's interesting. Triple jets would probably be a good way to farm relics then, huh? Just because you kill like four at the start of this right off the gate. It's not like we're doing a full jet where every single brew you have matters because every wave you have to get through, nah. We got plenty of supplies yeah. to tank some damage. <laughs> No need to make it more difficult than it is for us. This part is easy enough. We just gotta get through the part with Jed. Should kill it in a second. Long live the recoil perk, but it also doesn't really help much on Zuck. Wait. Does the suck suck on the suck suck? I do have it on, but why is uh, the major not? Why didn't the major get hit with recoil there? Because it's not on the list. Oh god, yeah, that makes sense. I should probably go ahead and unlock uh, a different relic for this. Not unlock, but use a different relic than recoil for this. It does work on the jets, which is nice, but that's about it. That's a minimal amount of damage and not the hardest part. I could even go with the uh, relic to take 10% less damage. So I can tank things a little bit better. Less chance of Zuck one-shotting me, perhaps. I don't know if it works on Zuck's attack, but at least the jets would... Uh, Hit less. It's already below 600 HP. Kind of want to chill and wait for the jet. When was that again? 460 or something? Let's try and get the jet out. There it is. 470. 470 threshold. Right. This is going better than expected. I'm not gonna lie. I thought I wouldn't be. I thought I would die a lot to getting one shot by Zuck, like just not following the shield properly. But that is barely happening until I make a big mess up and everything. Oh. You know, why do I speak with my mouth? Why don't I ever just shut the fuck up? But it's okay, we got the HP to heal up. We have the supplies. Will it be another jet or is it just gonna be another major and ranger at this point? I think another major and ranger? I, I, don't I think, I, 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 think I can kill it. I think I can kill it. Yeah, 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 you can kill it. Just don't be greedy, play it safe. I think we got it, boys. Wow, this this didn't even take an hour. <laughs> I am pleasantly surprised by myself. What? 
I mean, with supplies, I guess it just becomes so much easier, but yeah, there it goes. Boom, Infernal Cape done. Did not think it would be this quick. 8 minutes 23, my first ever Infernal Cape on any RSPS ever, like a legit Zuck fight. That is awesome. Achievement for equipping it, and we get the collection log. Sick. There's the log reward, some bonusy tuckle, and two pet raid scrolls. Wow. All right, boys, my boy Bonk is gonna come over here and carry me through a nightmare kill. And uh, yeah, that way I can get my research notes for it. Look at him, pimp the fuck out gear-wise with the blood tarva and everything. Over here with my ancient staff to use on Bash, should be fine. Yeah, will be interesting. He's also using the half HP relic for the damage and shit, and it's his first time using a Soul Reaper X, so let's find out how this goes. Let's do, oh, we have to wait for it to spawn 15 seconds. All right, good luck, good luck. At least in terms of basic nightmare attacks, I think we are experienced enough that we don't really have to worry about it. It's mainly going to be the prayer switching that I'm not too used to. For those that regularly watch my videos, you know what I play most. That one didn't have that mechanic. Bonk is slapping the fuck out of him though, goddamn. I'm just... I'm decoration on the side. <laughs> Uh, and his X is still stacking up on charges as well. That's crazy. I think the only difference was uh, the fact that on the server I played, the dashes could only go west to east. He would always teleport to one side and only go east to west or the other way. But on here, it can also go north to south. So that is another thing I got to keep in mind. Oh yeah, and you could stand next to the ledge. F funny though, because Bunk played the same server, obviously, back in the day. And uh, I could tell he had that same habit because every well, when I watched his first nightmare clips on there, he kept running to the wall every time it dashed. So that was kind of funny, but that doesn't actually work on the real game, sadly. Um, yeah, other than that, I think we good in terms of mechanics. Apparently, I don't want to shot the husks on here. That's odd. I think in old school you do, or do you need a certain level of stats for that? I don't know. Should be fine though. You don't even want to bother with the husk. Just lets the recoil do its thing. Uh, yeah, of course, flower floor, that should be fine. So far, so good. These mechanics aren't too tricky. Ooh, okay, well, I was saying that, but then somehow Nightmare decided to go over there. Pause. Damn, he just hit a 70, that's crazy. Oh, that's Mage Bray, ain't it? Oh, we still got it. We good. Make sure we can see the Nightmare at the same time. Our boy is just... Gonna one shot the pillars with this fucking upgraded Tomb and Shadow over there. Actually, I am not that far behind, all things considered. Trident OP. Actually, no, no, we're doing. We're, yeah, okay. He's a little bit quicker, slightly. <laughs> I wonder why. I'm not paying enough attention to the actual nightmare, though. Get rid of these husks before the. Oh, that's annoying. Now I have to deal with this shit while the uh, sleepwalkers are gonna come out. Oh, that's fucking tedious. Well, he still got it regardless. Should have done that before it actually uh, transitioned. Seems like it's always targeting Bunk because he has better stats in his gear. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. I'll see you guys at the end of this. This should not go with any issues, honestly. All right, let's see it, boys. One KC spoonery. Aw, oh, sad. Never lucky, but we got the uh, we got the little uh, research notes. That's what matter. A bunch of free combat achievements, and the loot seems better than uh, the loot seems better than actual old screw Haha. <laughs> cool. Now we just need corp, and here we have the group Iron Man in action with Bunk um, doing a little corp killing, trying to get our little research notes. Not sure if that works. If someone else does most damage, but we'll find out. All right, the there's the kill, and I got the notes, and it seems like Ghost, yeah, they all get it. Sweet. And I got a relic. And he got a relic, sick. And with that, we now have 12 out of 12 for advanced bosses. That is so nice. And here, long overdue, but I'm finally gonna go ahead and get the uh, Mage Arena cape. <laughs> Just get a little bit of magic damage. Most of my teammates at this point already uh, are close to getting it with Affinity. I've been slacking on that, I'm sad to admit, sorry, but uh, just gonna do it this way, this is still like a couple of minutes of time. Oh, I'm bringing two glories with me, I thought I had my occult on, lol. Alright, and with that done, oh, fuck it, let's click, we should be able to get our Zamorak imbue. Woohoo! Magic damage. Equip an imbued god cape, achievement unlocked. 40 out of 75. All right, guys, we have almost 19k PVM points at this point. I'm definitely going to go ahead and buy the Karras in preparation for TOA. 
Um, but other than that, Scotizos would be the most obvious thing, logically speaking. <clears throat> so you need ancient shards for that. Maybe occasionally getting an ecumenical key, although it's a bit expensive for how little KC I require. It's kind of not worth. Enchanted scrolls are nice, but I might just start spending votes on those. <clears throat> and the only thing I'm missing is probably soul bear to put away heads. More cannons for the team could be an option. They're only 2k, that's pretty cheap. And I think with that, that would be everything we really like need, actually require. Well, Ring of Wealth I, 3,000 points maybe, but other than that, all good. Alright guys, after spending a couple of mil on skips, I finally got a Phantom Musk, but that's cool. I want to do that to get more essence to upgrade the heart, I think that would benefit every one of us. Um, so I'm gonna work on that. I don't think there's any way to extend Phantom Musk, but would have been nice. But uh, we're gonna start saving up those points and get a damn rune pouch, because our inventory is always so cluttered with them. But yeah, being able to use a Slayer Helm is gonna help a lot here. Alright, 20 KC, there's our second Venator shard. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, okay, 29 KC, shard number three. We can get one more. We don't even we don't have the icon or the chest yet, but this works, I guess. Let's go, boys. Frozen cash and 99 slayer? No, 98 slayer. I was about to say I didn't give an announcement. That's the uh, frozen frozen cash for the collection log. Now we just need the ancient scepter piece, the ancient icon. Hopefully soon. And then one shard with the log, get the bow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you might be able to tell from the inventory, me and the boys are gonna try a DOA raid. A little bit scuffed gear. We're just gonna send it and hope for the best. All right, here we are with the team. Unfortunately, Ty had to go last minute unexpectedly, but I'm sure we can pull through with the three of us. Wish us luck, but uh, you know, it's gonna take a little bit of practice for sure. But we got it done. I'm highly, I have expectations of no purple and seven deaths, but let's go ahead and check it out. Honestly, especially the early raids, what we want to see is mainly the uh, the relic, of course. Would be funny on a seven death, but no, it's a white light. That's okay. First ever little run, not bad, but we gotta gotta work on that a little. No relic, sadly. No relic, no threats, no jewels. Oh wow, Goba got the relic right away. That's sick. What about Ghost? Ghost got the threat, of course. I'm heavy carrying my boys and they get lucky. Uh, it's not the quickest with my current weaponry, especially the Hosta, but let's see if we get lucky. Level 265 or 8. If not purple, at least give me a relic, please. No, no purple. I can already tell. Rip. Any relicers? No, we got a cache of runes, I guess. Some dragon darts. Well, cool, cool. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a brand new day and I can commentate fully again. Yay, no more whispering. Although I feel like the whispering has gotten a lot better over time, but uh, regardless of that, we got some happy news. First of all, they did some mining on my account while I was asleep, which is fantastic. Should finally be the level where you could technically one-shot the Aka puzzle, but uh, I don't know if that's possible without a dragon pickaxe. Either way, we got some pictures to cover, because the boys got a little lucky after I went to sleep. In particular, Mr. Ty. Uh, before that even though, I think my boy Goba got another Kraken tent, but I think some one of them already made it. Then Ty got a crystal tool seed at Zulcano 48 KC. Another one of those, why not, doesn't hurt. I'm not even sure how many we have at the moment, but enough. Uh, then Goba a little later got another crystal tool seed right after that. And then Ty went to do some Bandos, getting a Bandos chest plate at 58 KC I wanna say. I can't find the KC, but I remember seeing it earlier. Yeah, 58 KC for the first one. And then later, he gets another drop, Bandos Hilt at 61 KC, only 3 kills later. Dude, there's uh, more drops than uh, in less KC than I got, this is my fucking boots. Um, but yeah, he wasn't done there. At 75 KC, he also received a pair of boots, and then another Bandos chest plate from a minion. Uh, yeah, that's pretty fucking crazy, a minion, goddamn. 
so we got two BCPs, one Tessets, a Bandos, a Hilt and two Boots at this point. Really, really nice. Great progress. Um, I was thinking about trying another TOA in a minute. But this time we can use a BGS as a spec weapon uh, to lower defense as well as use full bandos. So that's pretty cool. Oh, right. I forgot about one more drop to add because he didn't send it in the same channel. But after all that at 94 KC, he also got the motherfucking pet. Absolutely insane. The pet within 100 KC, but all those other drops. I think I should do bandos on his account in the future instead of my own one. <laughs> 